everybody. Big Herc, 916. You know, all about that positivity and that motivation. And lately, it's been about trying to uh, get some of you youngsters to wake the F up, man. Because um, if you can't throw them hands, you need to keep your goddamn mouth shut. You guys are so quick to shoot each other over some bullshit because you can't take an ass whooping. You guys are, 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 it's really pathetic, man. You needed to probably have your ass whooped by your daddy when you was kids so you could learn that an ass whooping comes with being a man. You know, this goes back to, uh, you know, rest in peace, King Von from uh, Atlanta, man. And, um, you know, Timothy Leakes, 22, arrested for murdering this man and uh, shooting, you know, I think four other, three other people in the process he got shot. So he's 22. Uh, King Von was 26. Now he's looking at, I don't know how many years in prison for shooting this man over uh, whatever the situation was. I don't have the details. I just happened to hear through social media that it was a, maybe a possible fight or some type of confrontation. But what happened to just throwing them hands, man? What happened to standing up and showing mother, uh, 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 showing a mother that you can chunk them. You know, we used to chunk them when we were kids, man. We wasn't gonna just shoot nobody because you got punched in the face or got into it over a female. You know, it, it wasn't worth dying over. You want to spend the rest of your life in the pen for shooting somebody because you can't fight? Do you know there's so many cameras? There's so much surveillance. Everybody's got a smartphone. You're gonna go to the pen. You're not gonna get away with it. And then if you got other bodies, they're going to come up too because you thought you were slick. So you're going to get prosecuted. You're going to get washed. And you're going to be sitting in a pen for the for the rest of your life. And you're going to be eventually probably washing somebody's sheets or underwear up in there. Making food for somebody because people stop taking care of you. Nobody gives a damn about you after 10, 15, 20 years. You're dead to everybody else on the street, man. You're dead. You don't exist no more. Nobody cares about your accolades. And, and you're, you're old news. Your first couple years, you might think, oh, man, yeah, you you a, you a murderer? And now you think that, you know, if somebody's going to give you something, man. When, you're, when your grandma gets old, your, your mom gets tired, your little brother, whoever it is that was putting money on your books, can't afford to do it no more, you will be in there thirsty doing some shit that you should have should have been doing on the street, working. You guys, man, I, I don't, I don't get it, man. You talk about the police, you, you, you throw up the fist, and you talk about uh, the racism and 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 and, and um, the man. But you guys are killing more, more of each other than anybody. You guys are doing all the work. You're, you're the genocide. You're the ones who are destroying the black culture, the black race, because you can't fight. Half of y'all, man, if you just got out on a weekend and set up a little ring and had the big homie put some gloves on you, you could work out your disputes. You wouldn't have to worry about shooting and killing each other over nothing because over nothing, man, you killed the money maker who was feeding all these people. Now his homie's gonna wanna retaliate. But in the meantime, everybody's perpetuating death. No love, no prosperity, no elevation of consciousness, no knowledge, just a bunch of death, black on black, man. You guys talk all that shit about the police and you guys are killing each other every month, every weekend you're shooting up each other, man. And you're talking about it's gang, 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 gang. Why is it really worth the beef to kill somebody? I've been there, I was a jackass. I was one of those dudes at one point who resulted to violence and thought that, hey man, but once I got up in that pen and I seen the dudes in there crying, dudes in their 30 years who got another hundred? Yeah, another hundred. Another hundred. Some dudes, I seen them. One dude had a, a life sentence plus 200 years. Another dude, he had 300 years. One dude had five lives in a hundred years. They just come up with stuff, man. They know, how are you gonna do five lives? You know, 100 years, if you are you go to jail when you're 21, 22, you got 100 years, wh what does that mean? That means that you're going to die in there. 
And most of the people who got cracked got cracked before they hit 30. Before they hit 30, man. And you guys think you're gangster out here. All these rappers, you got beef, you're going to do this. Do you really think you're going to run around with a body and just be free for the rest of your life? You really think that? You're not over in seas. You're not a, you're not a, 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 some type of foreign assassin. You're not getting paid. You're not, you don't have no diplomatic immunity. You're going to jail, you dumbass. You're going to the pen. You're going to be sleeping in the bunk next to another dude who probably snores, farts, and all type of stuff. You're going to deal with lockdowns. You're going to deal with shanks. You're going to deal with grown men telling you when to stand up for count, when to go to chow, when to lock it down, when to, when to wash your ass. You're going to deal with all of that. And you're going to be dealing with a commissary that's charging you five times what the price of the food is on the street. And you're going to be having a conversation, hang out with dudes you would never want to hang out with because they're going to be calling shots. And that's the political situation. You can't talk to this guy because he's Hispanic. You can't talk to this guy because he's white. You can't talk to this guy because he's not from your town. You can't talk to this guy because he's funny style. You can't go over here. You can't walk here. You're already restricted, but you're restricted on top of restricted on top of restricted. You guys, man, I've been trying to tell you, man, but you you stole, you steadily thinking you got that Draco, you got that tech, or you got whatever it is you got in your hand, and you got the bullets, and you got the power of God. But the real power is the justice system, and they will crack your head, because you don't know shit about the laws. You little niggas don't know about Black's Law. You ain't educated to know that you can't just go around murdering people. You're not registered with your firearms. It's all legal. And like I said, it ain't self-defense. It's because you can't take an ass whooping. Learn to throw them dogs, man. Go take you some goddamn karate. Take boxing. Take taekwondo. Kung fu. Take anything. Jiu-jitsu. Learn how to defend yourself, man. And then come back for another day. But to take a man's life because of, uh, of a dispute that didn't have anything to do with him hurting your family, touching your kids. Why would you kill him, man? Is it worth it? You're not in the, go, go join the military, go overseas and serve in one of those missions. You want to go really put in some work, but you're killing your own in the neighborhood. And then you're talking about the police, the police over here with some dude who's out of control on drugs, whatever he's doing or fighting or whatever he's doing, putting himself in a hell of a position. But then you go and just murk a dude and you say, it's okay. You murk a dude, you murk a dude, you body a dude over here, but you talk shit about the police over here. What sense does that make? Oh, F the police. But yeah, I'm going to smoke this nigga. Oh, nigga, body, body, body. You know, you ain't nobody if you ain't got a body. Yeah, man, blah, 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 the homie. And then you sing a song and put rest in peace in a song. He's already gone, man. His family is mourning. His daughter's without a dad. Son without a dad. Wife without a husband. But you guys are now riding for him, looking stupid. And you're going to get caught again. So somebody else is going to go to pin. It's a cold cycle, man. And you guys keep feeding into it. You a, you a goddamn bunch of dummies, man. It, it, it's so pathetic, man. And it's, you're dummies because you buy into it. You could be smarter, but I tell it like it is, man. And I remember my grandpa used to tell me, man, you better get away from damn knuckleheads. And I used to tell him, I think like, hey, man, my grandpa, he old, man. He don't know what he's talking about. You know, stop hanging around them people, man. And I used to always tell him, he's like, man, you better. He used to always give me this crazy look. And I was like, yeah, grandpa. You know what? I went to jail eight months after that. Because I was running around doing that dumb shit too, being a goddamn dummy. Just like a lot of you guys out there. Wake the F up, man. I can't believe it, man. The penitentiary ain't shit. It ain't shit, man. I try to tell y'all, man, but you guys don't want to listen. So I'm going to keep putting the videos out. You can keep running around. This dude right here, Timothy Leakes, he going to be sitting up in there looking real stupid, walking around there having to deal with all the politics, all the bullshit, uh, starving with the with the hard, old baloney sandwiches, the spoiled milk, all the the food that they serve everybody in prison is the stuff nobody wants to eat on the street. The ninety nine cent store don't even want that food. That's why they get it in prison for a discount and mark it up to y'all. You don't get it, man. I'm telling you, man. I, I tried, man. I tried, man. I tried to put it back because I was one of those. I, I got caught up in that, man. You know, I, I was ready to to get out at the drop of a dime. But I realized that I bought it. That was a cold game. I bought into a cold bamboozle. Wake up, man. Wake up. Hey. Hey, I got that work. Hey. 
See, when y'all quarantine, I got that work. Let's get the coronavirus wig, man. Hey, go to the link in the description and get your limited edition. Coronavirus wig splitter shirts. Big Herc 916 getting out fresh out.